Inertia.js provides a unique approach to a monolithic application that they call the modern monolith. Essentially, it's going to act as a middle layer. It's going to help us communicate between our back end and our front end. Now, as a heads up, a lot of the documentation on their site is going to be preferenced around Laravel, um, which is fairly similar to Adonis just for the PHP community because this was initially built for Laravel. However, thanks to a package called Inertia.js Adonis.js by Adelv, uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, uh, we are able to utilize Inertia.js for Adonis.js applications. So for this series, for the server side, we're going to be using Adonis.js. However, for the client side, if we jump down to the client side here, we can see that they support Vue 2, Vue 3, React, and Svelte. Uh, while you can use any of these, for this series, we're going to be focusing on Vue 3. One last thing to mention before we head into actually creating our project is that the Inertia.js Adonis.js package does utilize both Vue and Session from Adonis.js, so you will want to ensure that both of those are installed within your project. If you use the web project structure like we will be doing here, those both come pre-installed so you don't need to worry about it. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get our project created. So let's run npm init Adonis TS app at latest, and I'm gonna call this Adonis Inertia example. All right, like I just mentioned, let's select the web structure. We can hit OK on the name. I'm going to skip on ESLint, and we will want Webpack Encore configured, so go ahead and hit Yes True on that. Then it will install all of those dependencies for us. OK, cool. So that's now completed, so let's go ahead and CD into there. Next up, let's go ahead and install the Inertia.js Adonis.js package. So this is npm i at e-i-d-e-l-l-e-v slash inertia hyphen Adonis.js. They also have this on the package readme if you just want to copy and paste that. Okay, next let's go ahead and configure that within our application by running node ace configure at e i d e l l e v slash inertia hyphen Adonis JS. This is going to ask us a couple of questions. First is select the view you would like to use. This will default to app, which is perfectly valid for our use case. This is essentially just what the edge name will be that the inertia and view application will actually be instantiated at. Uh, we'll Take a peek here at that here in a second. And then next, it's gonna ask us whether or not we would like to go ahead and install Inertia.js. This will save us a step of needing to install this ourselves. So let's go ahead and hit yes for that. And then it's gonna ask us what client side adapter we would like to use. Let's go ahead and select View 3 for this series. With those selections in place, it's gonna go ahead and install Inertia.js and View 3 for us. Once those installations complete, it will go ahead and create our configuration, our view where our app will be instantiated, which we set up here to be called app. So that is the edge file that was created. It will create an inertia.ts within our start directory. It will configure our TypeScript. It will configure our Adonis RC providers and preloads. And it will also regenerate our ace manifest.json file. The last thing that we should need to install here is view loader. So let's go ahead and npm i as a dev dependency view loader. Okay, so that should be all good on that front. Let's go ahead and open up that folder within our text editor of choice here. And let's jump inside of our webpack config.ts file and let's find view loader. Should be in here as a camel case. So right here we have encore.enable view loader. Go ahead and uncomment that block. And since we're using view three, go ahead and make sure that the version is set to three there. Now, the last thing that we need to do with the inertia Adonis.js package is go ahead and register the middleware. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this line right here. Let's jump back into our project, go into our start directory underneath kernel.ts. And under server middleware register, go ahead and plop that underneath the body parser and give that a save. And now let's go ahead and jump over to the inertia.js documentation and let's head into the client side and select view three. Now the inertia Adonis.js package, whenever we selected to install inertia, went ahead and took care of all of this for us. So we don't need to do the install dependency step. We can jump straight down to the initialize app step. So let's go ahead and copy this for view three, jump back into our project, head into the resources, JS app.js and we can plop this right below our app.css import. So what we have going on here is it's calling a method called create inertia app, which accepts an object configuration. The first item in this object is a resolve function, which we provide a callback function, which is provided a name. Within this callback function, all that we need to do is return back the specific page that we want the name to resolve to. So this will default to looking inside of a directory called pages, and this will be relative to the app.js file. So what we want to do is go ahead and create a folder within our JS folder here called pages. And this will be where all of our inertia JS pages reside. And these will be of type view. So let's go ahead and create our first page within here. So we can create a file called home.view. Let's give this a simple template real quick. And we'll just have this be say an H1 with testing and we'll give that a save. Okay, so while we're here, let's go ahead and dive into our views folder. 
and we'll see that we have an app.edge in addition to our welcome.edge. The welcome.edge was created whenever we created our Adonis application with the web structure. The app.edge was created whenever we configured the inertia Adonis.js package within our project, and we selected app as the initiation point. So this is what it stubbed out for us. It's very similar to our welcome.edge. We still have the entry points within here. The only difference is that all of the HTML markup within the body is now just an inertia tag. And this is essentially where our view three app is going to be dumped. So we can move this wherever within this app.edge file, so long as it's within the body and our view three application will be dropped there. Outside of here, we are perfectly okay to go ahead and use any edge components, partials, or anything like that that we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into our routes file now, because that is the last thing that we actually need to do before we test. So we have our default route here that Adonis.js set up for us that renders out our welcome page which is our default home page. So let's go ahead and add an additional page here just called slash home. This will be async. Okay, so the first thing is instead of grabbing view out of our HTTP context here, what we wanna do is grab a property called inertia. Much like the view here, what it will do is allow us to render out specifically our inertia page, whereas view will help us render out our edge page. So whenever we render our inertia page, what it will do is it will go to our edge page stop at the app.edge, it will reach our inertia tag, which will then dive into here, which will mount our view component, which will then render out the specific page that we requested. So let's jump back into our routes here and step through this. So we have inertia. Instead of doing return view.render, we wanna do return inertia.render. Specify the specific component name that we want to render out as this page. So this will be looking underneath the pages directory within our resources JS folder. And we can provide it any name within there, any subdirectory within there, so long as we have slashes within it. So we could do home for the page that we just created. And we don't need to put the .view file extension for that. That will be implied. If you want to change this location at all, dive into your app.js file and change where the require is pointing to within the resolve callback function. So with this route in place and saved, we should be good to go ahead and start up our server. So let's run npm run dev, which will kick off our HTTP server and also run our Webpack Encore configuration to render out all of our view three stuff with inertia. Let's jump into our browser, go to localhost 3333. We should see our default welcome page for Adonis.js. That's great, that's working okay. Let's jump over to home. And now we see the default inertia page that we just set up for our home component. Last thing to do before we round out this lesson, let's go ahead and pass some data from our route here with our inertia.render call into our home page. So just like with view.render, the second argument to our render call is any props that we wanna pass in to the actual page. So we can pass in an object with a key called testing. And this is a test as the value. Just to give an example here, Let's jump back into our home.view page. Let's set this up with a script. I'll just do the export default here. Let's define the prop. So we created a key called testing with the type of string. And now we can plop this into our template. Give that a save, jump back into the browser, and voila, there it is. So now we have our application set up and working with Adonis.js, Inertia, and Vue 3 all in one. 